Hello, I'm Anthony Romerell and welcome to CG for Me. Now that I've explained pretty much the theory behind joint orientation and controls, why they need to be built, and the ability to have animators be able to zero out uh, their controls at any time, let's apply this to the pig. So I'm going to go back to my pig. Just going to open it up in Maya. So file, recent files, I'm going to open up my pig. I'm going to save this file as joints. Okay, now by hand I built out the controls and I also um, built out groups and I think that's nice but it's I think it's a little bit inconvenient to build it that way. Um, I think the, the worst thing about building it that way by hand is you're prone to make mistakes. So what I've done is I've built a script and I'm going to show you how to find it. So what you're going to do is we're going to go to the internet and we're going to go to a website. It's uvuanimation.blogspot.com And it's going to take just a second to load up. And here you're going to see a link. You're going to see the CG for Me tutorials. You're also going to see one called File Server. I'm going to click on File Server. And this is going to go to a website called public.me.com slash Anthony Romrel. In here is a 3D folder and a Mel folder. Now I've created a Mel script called FK Control and Orientation. FK creation after orientation and I'm going to select the zip file now you can download the, the mail file and as long as it works for you that's great I'm going to download this file and I'm going to have it show where it's been downloaded and I'm going to double click it to extract it if you're on Windows you'll have to use your software to extract it and then I'm going to open this file in a text editor so here's the file in a text editor. And I'm going to select the script and copy it. And then I'm going to switch back to Maya and I'm going to open up my script editor. So I have my script editor. I've already been using this script, but I'll go and use it again. So you'll just select whatever's there and delete it and then replace it with this new script. So this script here I want to use a few times. So I'm going to select the whole script and middle mouse drag it up here to my shelf and it's going to create an icon. And what this script is going to do is it's basically going to create a control and set it up so that the controls manipulate the joints. So I'm going to select my root joint. If you can't see this, you can select it in your hypergraph. And I'm just going to click the, the script button and it's going to run it. And as you could see, I've made a blunder. And this is very important that uh, you see this has been made. What happened is, is I didn't freeze the transformations or the rotate values on my joints. Uh, freezing those rotate values pushes those rotate values into the joint orientation values and zeroes out the rotation values. I didn't do that, so I made this big mess. And if this happens to you, you'll get to know why. So I'm going to simply undo and until I get back to my original set, I'm going to select the root joint. I'm going to go to Modify, Freeze Transformations, Option Box, Make sure I'm freezing the rotate values and translate values. And I'm just going to hit apply. And what happened, I don't know if you could see that. I'm going to zoom in and you can see it again. I'm going to undo. See all these, I've got my local rotation axes, which show me where my joint orientation should be. And then these actual, this actual red, blue, and red, and green lines. These are the actual joint orientation. So if I hit apply, you could see those line up 
with the local rotation axes, and those become my new joint orientation values. And that's nice because now I'm able to reset my joint chain at any time. So I'm going to close my freeze transformations window and make sure my root joint is selected. And I'm going to run my script and check it out, make sure it worked. And you can see things are rotating properly. And the nice part is as I can select my controls I can select my controls here and I can zero them out and put them back in a default position